Hi guys, in this video we will be learning a case study for a glacial environment at a local scale, which will be Snowdonia. So to start our case study we're going to go through a bit of the background and history to the Snowdonia region. So Snowdonia is this whole region in northwest Wales. As you can see, it expands for a vast amount of the this region. Pretty much taking over the whole northwest corner of the country. And Snowdonia has a great diversity of landscapes within its boundary, and this is because it was formerly a glaciated environment. So the glaciated landscape created a diverse landscape with many glacial features from hanging valleys to pyramidal peaks as well. So the current physical formation of Snowdonia at the moment originated from approximately 18,000 years ago, which was during the last glacial maximum when the area was overlain with glaciers. And it was these glaciers who used glacial processes such as abrasion, corrosion and other forms of freeze thaw as well. Um, they used their erosive powers to create these distinct glacial landforms that we find very distinctively in the glacial region of Snowdonia, such as glacial lakes, corries and pyramidal peaks. So this is just a map here of one of the areas of Snowdonia and it nicely points out all the different features that can be seen on this OS map, such as moraines, rock steps, truncated spurs, this massive ribbon lake here too, also the shape of glacial U-shaped valleys as well, and some corries or cirques over here. So now we're going to look at some of the glacial lakes found in Snowdonia. So there are a number of lakes found in various corries or cirques in Snowdonia, which are the bowl shape formations we find on the side of mountains, which we've learned about their formation in the rest of the videos on glacial landscapes. So Snowdonia has a lot of corries and a large number of lakes which fill these corries because they not only catch water, but also when there is snow in the region during the winter times, when the snow melts, it forms these lakes as well. So some of the most prominent lakes in the Snowdonia region is Lynn Lidore, which is a natural lake on the flanks of Snowdon. Snowdon being the largest mountain in the Snowdonia region. That's why it's called Snowdon. And this lake is a long, thin lake in a quarry. So it's a quarry lake or called a tarn. And its altitude is at 440 meters high. And it's one of Snowdonia's deepest lakes at 58 meters deep. So the glacial environment and the processes of glaciation have created these really substantial features in the landscape. Hi guys. To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.